If you ever watched one of those sci-fi movies where robots resemble actual people, then you better keep watching. This tech is set to enhance and improve the way robotics is done, and it may even change the way robots themselves are designed. A paper published in the Science Robotics Journal in 2018 details the findings of researchers from the University of Tokyo. In their paper, they presented their new biohybrid robot, a unification of technology and biology, an amalgamation of robotics and living tissue. But wait, how did they do that? What are the implications of these types of robots in the field of science? And what does Shoji Takeuchi have to do with the rise of these biohybrid robots? That's exactly what we're going to be talking about in this video. This is New Technology Today, bringing you the hottest tech innovation straight to your screen. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. And of course, subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to keep yourself up to date. So, a biohybrid robot. University of Tokyo's researchers were able to build and present their newest invention in the Science Robotics Journal. It was a robot that was made from both living tissue and electronic parts. They had to grow the tissue of the living muscle from the cells of a rat. But don't worry, no rats were killed in the making of this hot new tech. The muscles were grown from the myoblasts of the muscle cells of rats. When the cells were extracted, they were grown on the surface of a hydrogel. The hydrogel was then attached to a robotic structure that resembled a skeleton. As time passed, these cells grew between two anchor points and were able to create a joint of sorts. When these cells are stimulated by an electrical current, the muscles can do what human muscles can, contract and expand. It then stimulates the way a real human hand would work. But wait, what does Shoji Takeuchi have to do with all of this? Well, he led the team that researched on and developed the biohybrid robots. In 1995, he graduated from the University of Tokyo in Tokyo, Japan, with a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering. He then continued his education and earned his master's and doctorate's degree in 1997 and 2000, respectively, in the same field. He has been recognized and given many awards. These awards include the Young Scientist Prize, the Commendation for Science and Technology by Minister of Education, Culture, Sports, Science and Technology in 2008, the JSPS Prize from the Japan Society for the Promotion of Science in 2010, ACS Analytical Chemistry Young Innovator Award in 2015, and the UNESCO Natexplo Award winner 2019. It's no surprise that he's part of the team who was able to develop these biohybrid robots. This is what he had to say about the project. If we can combine more of these muscles into a single device, we should be able to reproduce the complex muscular interplay that allows hands, arms, and other parts of the body to function. Although this is just a preliminary result, our approach might be a great step toward the construction of a more complex biohybrid system. Further development of these robots could lead to a wide range of developments. If it is developed and tested with human tissue, they could even be used to replace the missing limbs of humans. The research may lead to the creation of robots that have more advanced functionality and appear more lifelike than they do now. However, the path to success is riddled with several big challenges. First off, the live tissue must be kept submerged in water for it to stay viable. This is one of its major limitations, as if it intends to be functional, it needs to stay viable even out of water. Shoji Takeuchi has already worked and created biohybrid limbs that were semi-functional. However, he had trouble maintaining the length of the muscles. He did this by growing muscle tissue on the top of a flexible layer that was then controlled by a current sent through the muscle fibers. They were able to effectively contract to make the joint bend, but they would also shrink and would be no longer useful. This was one of the challenges that the team needed to be able to tackle. They needed to develop a way for the muscle to move properly and as many times as it is needed without it losing its usefulness. Skeletal muscles grow the more they are used, which means that growing a single layer of muscle can only be used temporarily. Takeuchi was able to solve this by imitating how muscles in antagonistic pairs function. An example of such a pair are the bicep and tricep. They need to work together to be able to function. As one muscle contracts, the other one expands. Imitating an antagonistic pairing would increase a muscle's tissue's lifespan, which is what Takeuchi did in constructing his new biohybrid robots. 
Takauchi created two separate muscle layers and placed them on the opposite sides of a joint. Then, each side of the joint was studded with gold electrodes that can conduct an electric current to stimulate the muscles to extend or contract as needed. While the muscles still get tight, it happens on both sides of the muscle, which prevents the muscles from being overused. Researchers are also taking a look at other alternatives to stimulating the muscles. An alternative they're looking at is using a motor neuron to control how the muscles are stimulated. And success has already been seen in this area. Previous research has been able to prove that small neural devices capable of controlling muscles from afar are possible to grow. It seems that this type of technology will continually get developed over the next few years. Remember the main challenge I mentioned earlier? Choji Takeuchi, Yuya Morimoto, and Hiroaki Ono released their research last June 2020, tackling that problem. They proposed the creation of a collagen structure that will encapsulate the muscle tissue and provide it with the moisture it needs to stay viable. They are hopeful that this advancement will be able to enhance the biohybrid robot's functionality. This is what their research abstract stated. To demonstrate the applicability of the developed biohybrid robot, we demonstrate its use in object manipulation. In addition, to prove its capability of functionality enhancement, we show that the biohybrid robot can actuate for a long term when perfusible tubes are set inside the collagen structure. It can actuate even while culturing cells on its surface. What are your thoughts on the rise of the biohybrid robots? What do you think is in store for the future once this type of tech has been fully developed? Let me know what you think in the comments section. I'll be replying to all of you who reply within the first hour. If you like this video, stay connected, stay up to date.